The first time you start using Cakewalk, the screen opens uh, but is replaced by the Let's Get Started window. If you click on New Project and Empty Project, you'll end up with um, the operating windows, of which there are several. You don't really need this one on the right, so you can click there to remove it, and this one on the left, you can click there to remove that one. You can select to use the whole of the screen using that control and you need to set this one to basic if it's not already there. You then want to import your file so you go to file import MIDI and then look on your PC to find where your the file you want to work on is actually stored and I'm picking that one. You see it loads in with details about the tracks in this window and the contents over here. It may be that the contents don't appear so you might find it's on another track if there's more than one and you might have to, to try to select the right one to get a display in this area. You then want to go into the piano roll view so clicking up there on views, piano roll view, you can also get it by using Alt 3, um, but you should end up with a display something like this. It may start off rather small, um, somewhere down here, so clicking at the top and getting that symbol and dragging it up just below the timeline gives you more room for your display. You can now click on view and fit MIDI and it should actually then uh, set the screen so that all the MIDI stuff fits in it. You can move it up and down if you wish with that, di that control. You can make it smaller or larger with those two and you can do the same in the horizontal direction with these two controls. If you want to play your file, you have to go up to Preferences. On the audio devices, you're not really bothered with the input. You want the output driver and you need to select whatever here is uh, what you're using to make to hear your sound. At the moment, I'm using the speakers on a TV screen that I use as a monitor. For the MIDI devices, you need to pick the Microsoft uh, synthesizer at least and tick that and if you have uh, the WIDI master or some other Bluetooth device that you can use an alternative to go straight to your organ you can tick that as well. Whichever ones at the top will be the default one that's used when you click on play uh, but you can move um, the devices up and down using this control. Once you've ticked everything you need, you can click on the uh, OK button at the bottom, but if you can't see it, the same way as I can't on my display, just press Enter. Playing controls are up here, they're the same sort of ones you get on um, tape recorder or whatever, with um, play is there. Pause, play, stop, go back to the beginning. If you want to start from anywhere other than the, uh, the beginning, you can drag this little fella and it will then start from that point. To get right back to the very start, you can click on there. If you want to edit the file, a right click on any file or on any note will make it delete. Uh, Control Z will bring it back again. If you want to insert notes, you click at the point you want it and drag it for the length that you want. Again, Control Z will remove it again. To move notes, just click and move them up or down as required. 
again control Z will take you back where you were you can lengthen or shorten notes as you wish either from the front or the back as you choose again control Z will correct take you back to where you were if you want to delete all the entries for one particular note click on the key in the piano display there and you'll see the notes for that particular key get highlighted pressing delete removes them again control Z will bring them back if there are several uh, notes that you want all the entries to be deleted for if you click away from there that gets rid of it if several notes you want to um, delete the uh, the entries for if you press shift when you click you can pick more than one pressing delete will take them all off again control Z brings them back again and clicking away from those uh, brings back the display if you want to remove a section of the um, file such as this start area if it was too long for example you click on view at the top and go into the track view you've got the track that you're working on is displayed over here you now can see options if you click in options and set ripple edit all you can now click in this timeline area and drag backwards to highlight the area that's going to be removed pressing delete will take it out and as you see the track has moved back again uh, if you want to undo what you just did again control Z will do so and alt 3 as I said will take you back to your piano roll view if you want to transpose notes such as in this file um, you can see the lowest note here is D3 but on my organ the lowest note I want is uh, F4 uh, there which is 15 semitones away from where it is at the moment again you go up to view and uh, if I can get there go up to view and select track view highlight the number at the end of the track that's actually showing and then you can go to process at the top transpose and set this amount to the number of semitones that you want the thing to go up by if you go below zero it will be the number of semitones it'll go down by so I want it to go up by 15 as I click on OK you might see some slight movement here yeah pressing ALT 3 brings back the piano roll display and as you can see now the bottom note is F4 which is just what we wanted if you want to uh, after you finish playing with your file if you want to save it if you click on file you can save it uh, as a project so that you can come back to it and work on it again in um, cakewalk but if you want to get the actual MIDI file you need to go to export standard MIDI file here I'm going to save it by the new name F Sundon rather than the D Sundon that it was originally but I also need to select MIDI format naught I can then save it it already exists because I've done this before so I'm just going to replace it now if you want to switch the output from playing at the moment as it does uh, on the computer uh, to playing um, directly to my organ in the inspector column here click on that lowest uh, symbol 
and you see there's an in out section here where the output is at the moment is set to that Microsoft synthesizer if I click in there I can change it to the MIDI WIDI master out so that if I press let's move this back to the beginning to give me a bit of space no you won't let me come on oh no strange oh well never mind if I start playing now that's my organ you can hear in the background actually replieving the file directly after you've done that you can go back to there and reset it to the internal synthesizer um, you can't have the uh, the WIDI device connecting to Cakewalk and to your uh, iPhone at the same time um, so if you want to use one or the other it's best to turn Bluetooth off on the one that you don't want to use and uh, perhaps just um, restart the program or um, switch off the organ and switch it back on again uh, to get um, the one you want. I think that's about all I need to say on the subject at the moment so I'll end my video there.